Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Granny on PC using the brand new BlueStax 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Granny and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to BlueStax 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Granny. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all my friends, the first thing to do is to open our main web browser. We have here the one we prefer. Let's go to the current URL that I'm highlighting in green. Now, you can see on the screen. You don't need to type it, because there's the link in the description of this video and the first pinned comment. Once clicking on that link, we get to the website of BlueStacks. Which the Android emulator that we are going to use to play Granny on PC. As you can see here we have a number of advantages of preferring using the emulator. Now we are on the way to start downloading the granny by clicking on the button play on BlueStacks that I have marked in green. We then click on it. And the download starts and ends immediately. Here it is, this is the download. It's an executable file. What we are going to do now is to launch the installer, so we click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow changes to the computer. We have said yes, I minimize the web browser to start to see the installer better. The installer is very simple to use. It includes a couple of options, install, and setup path. I am going to make it clear what setup path does. We simply click on it. So we realize that we get here the path where your emulator will be installed. If we want to modify this directory we are required to click on the browse button. So we choose another folder and install the emulator precisely where we want. To keep it simple, just keep it as it is. Then, I click on back. So I pick install. Voila! The install begins and it will progress together with the download of these megabytes that are shown on that screen. Once you download it, it may be more or less megabytes. The data transfer rate may go faster or at a lower speed, determined by your web access and according to the data transfer rate of the emulator web servers. Now they're going extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator has actually been started instantly. As you can observe, at the bottom of the screen, there is a progress bar that will advance to the right and when it reaches the end, the emulator is going to be launched for the first time. The truth is the emulator is already launched, there for the first time. Before we carry on, as you understand, it made a couple of icons here on the PC desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks multi-instance. Note that the BlueStacks icon will be the one we are considering. The moment we want to start Granny on our desktop or laptop, we double-click on this specific software icon and as a result use the emulator. The BlueStacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Why don't we make the next step, that is a must, and that is to access the Google Play Store. And we will mouse click on Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is presented. At this point we need to sign in. At this point the moment we are there, we must execute the next step which is obligatory. So we simply click on, sign in. At this moment it announces, checking info. It might from time to time get stopped at, checking info, and this does not continue. If that's the case, you should try to log in and after a few hours it's going to almost certainly be fixed. At this moment we can type in our login name and password. The email really needs to be a Gmail email and its related password. For example you make use of the same email you're using currently in your YouTube account. So that I am going to type my data and I will revisit immediately after I have done it. That's it, information inserted. Discover Google welcoming us and providing us the terms of service. We are going to agree to them by hitting, I agree. Following, it allow us to backup to the Google Cloud. You could keep it checked and it will create a backup of the data on this device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you do what you want. We click on accept. Google Play Store is started by default and instantly. To install the game, we need to visit the emulator desktop by double-clicking on the icon marked green colored. Right now that we are exploring the desktop of the emulator for Android, we observe that we have there the install game button. We just click on the button. There we come with the video game. Why don't we click here on the install button that I am displaying now in green. And this will launch the setup. 
At this point it will install the game, it will take some time or it might possibly be amazingly quickly. It all is dependent upon on our own internet connection. It's already finished setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this specific button I'm presenting in green, in order to launch Granny for the first time. We're presently on the emulator desktop, and so we are about to click on the new Granny icon that's been created. This Android game is launched for the very first time. Currently there we have it. I can click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should talk about the volume level of the emulator. This is here, we have the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This way we won't rely on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of your emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the greatest, we could activate the big screen, for which we have two alternatives. This is simply the first one, we just click on that icon that I am pointing out in green. And the display screen is maximized, offering one border at the top, one at the right and one at the bottom. In the event that we like to appreciate the video game in full screen, we click this icon. And we might presently be enjoying the video game in full screen function. To exit the full screen mode, push the F11 key. And we'd now be in standard computer screen mode. At present, I am on the way to reveal you the computer keyboard mapping which is very appealing. This way we will certainly be ready to use the game application more effortlessly. The first thing is to mouse click this application icon. And here you will have the ability to make the required configurations. I will leave the default configuration, though if you require to change it, you may well do it with no problem. Clearly, the emulator is fully in our language. On occasion it happens that the emulator is presented in the wrong language, for example, in Chinese language. And then to set it up in the appropriate language we click here to the cogwheel. Then right here inside of additional configurations, we click on the language drop down. We could choose the language we like, Spanish, Mandarin, and so forth. Once the language is selected, we are going to save, the emulator would reboot, and the Android game, the next time we run it, will as well be in the chosen language. At this point, you will find another aspect that we will need to take into account, and this is that we will receive a message from Gmail indicating that a brand new device has been linked to this Google account. It will certainly ask us if we're the individuals who have connected that electronic device. Yes, we shouldn't get worried, considering that the emulator is simulating in Google Android tablet or smartphone. In order to determine which electronic device is being emulated, we come here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. Therefore we browse here to the, model, option. And right here we see that the emulator is emulating a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for this training. I hope you appreciated it, especially that you found it helpful. If that is so, give it a great thumb up, subscribe to the channel, and any feedback, questions or ideas, leave them in the comment box down below. Mouse click on any of these training videos which are usually appearing on the screen and let's have fun again in the next instructional videos. Bye.